Uncle Tim's. It's all good.
Well, I've got it all put together, all the wiring in. Zip tied for now. <clears throat> Eventually I'll get some cable holders that will screw on there, but I got this Velcro together. This wire here is loose because as this boom raises up, it stretches out. <clears throat> and it's supposed to be the blue wire connected up there and the red wire going over to the to the battery, but I swapped them because that blue wire was too short when that boom raises all the way up. So I swapped them on the control box and then outside here as well. And then that, that red one's plenty long enough. <clears throat> so I took these old jumper cables, cut the ends off, because that's much cheaper than buying. This is four gauge wire. It would be way expensive to buy that much four gauge wire, so I just use my old jumper cables, and that's what runs the power from the battery back here to these bus bars, and then everything connects up to that. Well, really, it's just the hydraulic pump and the winch connect up to it right down here. But if I wanted to add anything else, like some lights or something, I could do that just off that bus bar. And then I've got this solar trickle charger hooked up. Actually, I don't have it hooked. I need to hook it back up inside there. Anyhow, so I just drilled a couple holes in the back of the box here, put some grommets, rubber grommets, ran the cables through. And so both of these wires are red, you see, but this one is ribbed, has ribs, and this one is smooth. So the ribbed one is the one I use for positive, ribbed, red, and then the smooth one is what I connected to the negative on both ends. So that's how you can tell them apart. And then, let's go ahead and open this up. Just trickle charger back up. Oops, sorry. And out of the way. battery charged up as these hydraulic pumps use a lot of electricity I mean they really suck those batteries down quick anyhow so it's all together and then I got this winch that ratchets in both directions and I've got that hooked up to that d-ring up there and right now it's just it's not doing anything it's just there but when I raise that boom all the way up then I can crank this up good and tight and it just adds a little bit of a safety feature to it in case the hydraulics give out this is rated at 1600 pounds so or, yeah something like that anyhow so it'll give a little bit of extra safety factor to this whole setup and then these ratchets toolboxes attached Everything's done, and we're ready to take this down the road and then give it a test tomorrow. See how it does. So stay tuned for that. We're going to be harvesting a steer tomorrow, and he's a big boy. So it'll be a test for this for sure. So I don't really have any concerns about this boom and the hydraulics. And that plate there, that's all heavy duty. He might biggest concern is the, these two cross beams here whether they're heavy enough to handle the torque or not so that's what we're going to find out tomorrow
All right, it's time to test this thing out for real. The reason we're not doing it out in the pasture is because this is the first test run and we want to make sure it works. And if we run into any issues, we'll have our other hoist to be able to finish the job. All right, so you can see that it does work, and now it's time to get down to the business of finishing processing this steer. So I'll see you next time, and stay tuned because we'll have more videos showing this out in the field actually working as it's intended. So once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, and I will see you next time. See ya. Bye. Bye.